Yom Darkechah, the book, the holy book, Yom Darkechah, Sfirat Omer, the inner meanings of Midat of Chesed and the ways that it acts in this world. Rizat Hashem, what is the essence, what is the definition of the Midat of Chesed? Chesed, loving kindness, Yikoch Hashba'a Ve'anitinah, is the power to give over, to influence, to, to bestow, and the, the, the ability to, to give without limitations. Netina Ve'ashba'a Mitoch Chesed Ve'ava, giving an influence from a place of loving kindness and in this in this count of chesed Hashem is bringing down all of his abundance and all of his light with the midah of chesed he's giving over his light to create his world and to give it life in every single moment at any given time what is the work in the Midah of Chesed, it's the work of Ahava, love. When Hashem starts to give the light of Chesed onto a person, Hashem starts to be present and dwelling upon you according to the ways of how it's revealed through the vehicle that's called Chesed. What does that light cause the person to feel? Immense love towards Hashem Itbarach. Chesed, what is Chesed? It is an influence, a light that's coming down from Hashem. When the person understands how much is Hashem giving me at any given moment, and how much Hashem loves you, what's the natural outcome of that feeling, of that knowledge? Being filled with love towards Hashem. Because He recognizes His goodness, and He returns the love according to the love that He receives from Hashem. On a higher level, when a person sees how powerful Hashem's influence on us is and how mighty Hashem is in all of His actions, you start to feel this feeling of love towards Hashem and appreciation. You're like you're His number one fan. You want to be connected to Hashem. I want to belong to Hashem. I want to be in His camp. The Shefa, the amount of abundance that's coming down, reveals the greatness of He who is bestowing that, uh, that abundance. What does this do in your heart? It brings this immense, immense appreciation and this desire to connect to Hashem and to be one of His, to be on His team, to be connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This is the internal work of what it means, the midah the mida of chesed, the measure of chesed, loving kindness. To feel tangibly the light and the influence of Hashem bringing down in the world. To be filled with love towards Hashem. Right? This means really that that you're willing to be Moser Nefesh, you're willing to give over what you want in order for Hashem on a higher level to be nullified to Hashem and to be included in His light completely because that's the best feeling possible. Right? Included in this measure of love, to love the Holy Torah, which is the revelation of Hashem's light in the world, so too to love every single Jew, because every single Jew is a son, a child, a daughter of Hashem Yitbarach. He's a piece of, Hashem, of Hashem's spark of Hashem from up above, Mamash. So too included in this work of the Midah of Chesed. That us ourselves, we will be the owners of loving kindness, of love to others. And to give over and to influence others and to, to help them, to give over to them what Hashem has given to us, to share a little bit. And to give to them from a place of a desire to, to give over and to do good for them and to benefit them. By way of this, we are clinging to the attributes of Hashem. We become a chariot, a vehicle for Hashem's expression in the world. To express what is Hashem's love for us when you want to give over to others to help them. Not for your own traits, to help them. Because Hashem gave you something and it was so good you want to give it to others. Then you start to become a vehicle of expression of Hashem's love in the world. 
What is the negative side, right? We want to we elevate everything that might have fallen down. So there's a work of elevation here too. There's a work of elevation here of chesed. Sometimes our, because of how we act in this world, we cause lights to fall down, right? And the, the sumira, the negative side of chesed, come in and to the right. The negative, welcome, side of the, of chesed, the negative side of the Midah of Chesed is what do you so want to go away from right now? Is you want to get over lust. You want to get over lust and different desires for Gashmi things. Everything that has the idea of lust, the idea of desires. The fact that you have an arousal, a desire, a lust for a certain thing. That is the light of God. Right, the light of Chesed coming down to you right now is enclosed in a garment that's called the lust for a certain physical thing. This light was sent to you in order to arouse you, to wake you up, to give you the ability to love Hashem and to ascend in the, the ladder, the steps of love. Because of the sins, because of our sins, we caused that there is now an ability for the klipa, for the husks, to cover up that light, right? And they start to cover up the light. They become like a garment, a, 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 a complete blanket to cover up this godly light. As if the light is in the wine, as if the, white, the light is inside, the godly light is actually part of the Arak. It's not the Arak, it's Hashem's spark that is giving existence to the Arak. That's what you're trying to connect to, right? Instead of the light coming down to you in a clear way, and the Jew will feel and sense. That from Shemaim right now they just sent you the ability to connect to Hashem from a place of love and to take immense pleasure in that. Instead of feeling that, instead of that, what happens? It's covered up. It's concealed. Until it appears to the person. As if, as if you have some desire to connect to the physicality. As if you have some de desire to drink a cup of wine because the wine does good for you. As if sex does good for you, as if the meat does good for you, as if anything else because of what it is, is doing good for you. Instead of remembering that there's a spark of Hashem that's hidden inside that thing. What is the way to fix it? First thing, sirs, get over the lust. Separate yourself from it. Everybody according to their... To the thing, right? And it's completely, it's, it's written here, but it's something that's forbidden. You have to separate yourself completely. And the things that are that are allowed, right? There you have to do work and there's you have to sanctify it with the time, right? Things that are allowed, meat, all the things we mentioned, no problem. Pig, illicit relations, all those things, you have to separate you completely. Okay. Whatever you're allowed to, you have to start to sanctify yourself a little bit. Straight away, when you start to feel a lust, and you overcome it, and you run away from going into that lust, straight away go into a meditation on feeling the love for Hashem. You just overcame the Yetzirah that is coming, a klipa of, of, of chesed, you just conquered it, now take the, the, the light that you just received by breaking the klipa, and contemplate on your love for Hashem. If it's because of a, an arousal of lust that you went to a contemplation of loving Hashem, you start to erase the lust from its root. You start to take the light, the spark, and you're using it in the proper way. Anytime you overcome a ta'ava, anytime you, over, you overcome a lust, you have to straight away going into feeling love for Hashem. To warm your heart with love towards Hashem. In your thoughts, in your speech, and in your actions. Actions. Then there's a yichud of chesed, right? Vina Hashem Hakadosh Hashayach Lemidat Chesed Hu Shem Havaya Benikud Segol. Whoever knows what Segol is, you just got a lesson, right? Yudke Vavke with Segol. If you don't understand, next class. Bezat Hashem. Vekasher Adam Rotze Leoret Or Ava Benafshor. When a person wants to arouse love in their soul, Yichaven B'Shem Ze Yudke Vavke 
with the three dots underneath, right? In a triangle shape. Ooh. Right? While you're thinking of this holy name in your head, try to go into more and more feelings of love towards Hashem. By way of the power, the auspicious power of thinking of this holy name, you will have the light of Chesed come down on you. This will help you to arouse your heart more and more to love Hashem. This helps you to arouse feelings of love towards Hashem and to strengthen them. And it also helps you to go out of lust that you've gone into. Straight away you feel the lust coming upon you. Go into your heart and feel love to Hashem. And while you're doing that, have intention in your mind on this holy name of Yudke Vavke with Segol. Right? Huh? Every letter has a, four segels underneath the four letters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This love of Hashem is a mitzvah from the Torah to love Hashem. You shall love Hashem your God. To love Hashem your God. We have tons of psukim like this in the Torah, right? You have to really invest a lot in this. You have to invest a lot to have love for Hashem and awe of Him. This is not some additional degree that you could marry it. It's not some bonus thing. This is foundation of the right and mitzvah of the Torah. When a Jew has awe and love, love and awe, when you have love, love and fear of Hashem, all of your connection, all of your relationship with Hashem, everything you do to serve Hashem is done on the most internal, elevated place without any measure. Moshe Rabbeinu already told Am Yisrael, Ve'ata, Yisrael, ma Adonai sho'el mimach? What is Hashem asking of you? Ki im le'ira et ha'avaya elokechat. Just to have awe of Hashem, to respect Him, to see Hashem in your life. Le'lechet v'chol derachav, to walk on all of His paths. Le'ava oto, to love Him. Le'avod et ha'avaya elokechat b'chol levavcha v'chol nafshecha. To serve Hashem, your God, with all of your heart and with all of your might. With all your soul. This is the proper way to serve Hashem. This is what Hashem wants. Right? The, 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 the that you're coming to do has to come from a place of love, from a place of Avashem. From a place of closeness, from a place of relationship, from a place of I belong with Hashem. Like the rabbi said, Hashem wants your heart. Last little chapter and we're done. Love and fear together. You have to know that love and fear of Hashem are two principal foundations, two pillars of the service of Hashem of internal work. You always need both of them together. Love shows our connection, our relationship to Hashem. God forbid there's no love. This is a horrible blemish, so to say, in your relationship to Hashem. As if you don't want Hashem, God forbid. And you have no fear to be, you don't, you don't at all have any desire to be amongst Hashem, to be in the midst of Hashem. From the second side, you need the fear, you need the awe, you need the respect of Hashem. That comes from a place of the loftiness of Hashem. Recognizing how great Hashem is. And without awe of that, without the fear of Hashem, without the respect of the, the greatness that is Hashem. A person is going to fall to acting in a way that is not fitting for the greatness of Hashem. You're always in front of Him. How could you act against the, the, the Master, the, the King of the Kings that's in front of you at any given moment? Even though you always need both of them, it's true, with that's the case that you need both of them, there's still differences. Who do you need to invest more in? In the side of love or in the side of awe, fear? It's different according to the person. So too, for the same person, it changes what situation he's in, what time he's in. 
כי יש זמנים ששמים יותר דגש על אהבה. There's times we put more emphasis on love, ויש זמנים ששמים דגש על יראה. There's times we put more emphasis on awe and fear. למשל, for example, בראש השנה, על ראש השנה, צריך לעבוד יותר על היראה. בראש השנה, it's more about the awe of Hashem, the greatness of Hashem, right? כיוון שהוא יום הדין והמשפט. It's the day of judgment, it's the day of justice. ובו מלך במשפט יעמיד ארץ. It's the day that Hashem judges the whole entire land. כמו שכתוב, והאלוהים עשה שיראו מלפניו. Hashem made it, right? מידת הדין made it, that you shall have awe in front of him, fear of him. ואף שגם בראש השנה יש אהבה. על ראש השנה there's for sure love. כי אהבה מורה על קשר פנימי וחיבור עם השם יתברך. Love shows about an internal connection and a relationship with השם יתברך. ואז זה צריך תמיד, right? את זה צריך תמיד, we always need this. מכל מקום בראש השנה יש עבודה של יראה. So with that said, on ראש השנה we have this work of ולעומת זאת בשבת ויום טוב, שהם זמני גילוי, רכסת ואהבה. So too on שבת and יום טוב, when are the times of revelation of love and חסד, והם הנהגת השם יתברך היא בדרך של אור, right? Right now, שבת, יום טוב, השם's way is love of barbecues, of music, of, of all this, right? And the, 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 the behavior of השם is a little bit different. The love of השם, the love of השם, the light of the love of השם. אזי גם אנחנו צריכים להגביר אצלנו את האהבה יותר מאירה. So too we have to increase our love more than our אירה. ולכן בהם אנו מצווים על השמחה. Therefore we have a commandment for שמחה. והעונג and pleasure in the meal. שהם תנורות בנפש של דבקות וקירוב. These are movements of the soul, of דבקות, of clinging to השם, of... of immense pleasure in Hashem. We're nearly done, three more paragraphs. Ba'av shagam b'hem tzrich ira. So too on Yom Tov and Shabbat, we have to have awe, we have to have respect, we have to have fear of Hashem. K'day shachas v'shalom, lo nabol yidei mechshol, so we won't come to an obstacle, ve'lo nivgom b'chvod shamayim, we won't defile the honor of heaven. Mikol makom, adagesh ha'ikari b'hem, ya'al ava. So too with that said, we have to respect Yom Tov, we have to respect Shabbat, we have to respect the Shem Yitbara. The emphasis is on love. כי לפי איך שהשם יתברך מנהיג ומתגלה, according to how Hashem is ruling the world and he's revealing himself to you, כך אנחנו צריכים להתנהג. So too we need to act. בין בכלליות, whether it's the general principle of the day and the certain avodah you're going through, or whether it's what's going on in you, what's aroused inside of you from Shemaim. כי מרגיש התעוררות לאהבה, sometimes you feel aroused to love. Sometimes, God forbid, the opposite, you feel aroused to a lust. You have to understand and know that right now they're asking you from Shemaim to deal Avodah of, of, of Ahava. I so, love you, Hashem! I love you, Hashem! Thank you, Hashem! I love you! Right? So if right now you feel a lust or you feel an arousal to go pray, know that from Shemaim they're telling you, hey, I want a connection, I want Dvekut. Work on your Dvekut, work on your Kesher. Contemplate on Ahava. Come work on Avodah on your Avodah of Ahava right now. Right? That's chesed. The sikum. As just a summary and we're done. Ba'avodat Hashem itbach tzik gam ava ve gam ira. In avodat Hashem, we need also love and we also need the awe. Ki mitzad ha-kesher shelanu im Hashem itbarach, azai mitorer et ha-ava. From the side of our relationship with Hashem, so we have an arousal of love. Ki Hashem itbarach morid et atzmo elenu. Hashem is bringing Himself down to us at all times. Liot imanu bebrit ha-ava. To be within us, with us in a connection, a covenant of love. כמו אבל בניו, like a child, like a father to his children, אבל מצד האמת, from the side of truth, השם יתברך כל כך מרומם וגדול, השם is so lofty, so great, שהבנה בזה מורידה יראה בלב, that the understanding of how great he is, causes this awe, this fear, this respect in your heart. ומוכרחים לאחוז בשניהם, we are forced, we must, we're obligated to hold on to both sides, וזה בלי... וזה בלי זה לא יצליח. If you only have אהבת השם, you won't be successful. You only have אהב השם, fear of השם, you will not be successful. You need both of them together. Meaning, מצד אחד לזכור את האמת. One side I have to remember the truth. השם יתברך מרומם מאיתנו בלי שיעור. השם has elevated us above us without any measure. וידיעה זו גורמת להיכנע והנהגת כבוד ופחד מלעבוד על דברו. מלעבור על דברו. This, this knowledge causes us to subdue ourselves. And to give over ourselves with honor, to the honor and the fear to go against the word of Hashem. Last paragraph. And from the second side, Since Hashem wants and desires a relationship with us, and we are not, and sorry, we are His, we are, 
We are his children, his loved children. Therefore, in practicality, we have to feel this. We have to feel that Hashem wants us. He have to, we have to feel that He's our Father in Shemaim, that wants a relationship with us. And we have to work it, work on it, and feel it in our heart without any measure. We have to make this our Magama, especially in this week, to feel Chesed more than anything, especially during Yom Tov, to feel Chesed more than anything, and to put that emphasis, not to break Shabbat and not to break the Yom Tov, but to put your main goal onto being besimcha on the Yom Tov and to cling to Hashem, Bezat Hashem, Hashem, Hashem,